Stoppages cost the South African platinum sector 300,000 ounces in lost output for 2011, about 5% of global production. But the government says the industry needs a shake-up. Last Wednesday, we had one of the smaller unions, Solidarity, saying the South African Labour Court has suspended a safety stoppage at a mine operated by Northern Platinum. Now, platinum group metals output in South Africa fell 19.5% year-on-year in January. Gentlemen, the picture I'm painting there is of a sector that is so many issues, so many negatives, you actually wonder whether it's worth looking at all into the sector. So let's begin, first of all, by painting a scenario of where these prices are going, given the issues that we have to deal with here in South Africa, where, of course, the bulk of the metal comes from. Can I begin with you, Sasha? And sure, then we can move you. on to Warren. Sure, sure. I'm actually surprised the platinum price isn't higher. And in fact, this week, for the first time, it overtook the gold price. It, for months and months, I was wondering, you know, because you're seeing increased light motor vehicle sales across the globe continue to increase. And I was yeah. wondering, why isn't the platinum price high? Notwithstanding all the pressures that we're also seeing from, you know, Brian Darmus has told us from ESCOM that yeah. they, they can't be sure the lights are going to stay on this winter and mm -hmm. capacity. And they're asking individuals like you and I to start saving more electricity as much as 10% of our own personal usage just to help out. We all know what happened last time. The lights went out in uh, late December. Right. Uh, it was late December. Late uh, 2008, yeah, yeah. And beginning of 2009, the platinum price went um, in extraordinary circumstances to comfortably above $2,000 an ounce. So if there are any shocks um, to the system like that this winter, wouldn't be surprised to see it. Uh, Absolutely. Beyond <laughs> A skeptic would say perhaps, you know, could this be a deliberate strategy by South Africa to get the platinum price up, given the well, stronger I just, hold I, I just on wanted to uh, ask, uh, ask Sasha his opinion on, on the view on the demand for platinum, because obviously it's the catalytic demand which really drives it. Uh, Europe's very depressed at the moment. The way I understand it is that uh, European cars use more of a platinum. It's and because there's a high diesel content to their motor vehicle fleet. So whereas in America, yeah. there's a much lower diesel consumption. It's mostly at an industrial level. So I think like diesel uh, locomotives. So it's, it's more used on kind of heavy, the, the heavy converters are used on diesel uh, motor. Uh, and then, of course, there are fuel cell applications too. But in okay. Europe, think mostly diesel. In America, think mostly petrol. And, and, and China, um, as I understand it, is a, is a motor car. They use a motor car that's more aligned with the with, which can be used towards uh, with palladium as opposed to platinum is that is that right correct and remember why the producers uh, the, the motor vehicle producers actually dump the palladium types is because the, the the russians were completely unreliable right the better part of 12 13 years ago and used to flood the market just when the price spiked they used yeah. to say sorry guys in true russian style let's perhaps explain what palladium is in the whole equation this is a byproduct of platinum mining that we're talking about here well it's part of the pgm group. but what are you driving it warren uh, I'm, I'm talking about, uh, you know, when you talk about demand for cars, yeah. at the moment very suppressed or subdued in Europe and America, obviously completely different story in China. I read a, uh, some fact this week that said that the amount of cars uh, that will be sold in China in the next five years will almost equal half the fleet in America. I'm not sure if that's true, right. but it's an indication of how much demand there is. So uh, there is a, fu I think the point is there's a fundamental underpin to platinum and palladium. Right. It's just to what degree and which, which metal is it? Is it, is it more palladium or is it more or is platinum? It more palladium? They both seem to be, um, from a price perspective, it seems to be palladium that's been catching up faster than platinum. And as you pointed out, it's the first time in a while we've actually seen the platinum price higher than the gold price. And uh, for Sasha, I just wanted to find out as well, for China, do you know the breakdown in terms of the cars, the, the, the type of engines that they have there? Are we talking They're more diesel smaller, than petrol? Well, what mostly, are we talking about? Yeah, that's still mostly petrol motor vehicles as far as I can understand it. But there's a growing diesel consumption globally because, of course, diesel you can manufacture. Okay. Um, and diesel you can manufacture. And remember also in a, in a country like Brazil, for instance, uh, they took a decision after the great oil embargo that impacted the last oil price spike that we saw in the early 80s. They took right. a decision to go on the ethanol route. And of course, their 
there's a higher, obviously, palladium um, and platinum usage. So I think at the risk of getting into a chemistry, yeah. um, <laughs> a, a chemistry lecture here, I just scraped past in chemistry one here, Godfrey, so don't ask me it, it, too it, many times. It technical. doesn't sound like you did. It doesn't sound like you did. But so what does that mean then for the price in the, in the years ahead? And let's, let's perhaps get your sense, your, 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 your focus for the price. Well, look, I think there's going to be, um, you know, supply constraints, specifically from South Africa. I did allude to the fact that it may be deliberate on the uh, part of South I African producers and the South African government. Sinister. Wouldn't you say so? No, I wouldn't say there's anything sinister specifically. I mean, maybe it's our neighbours to the north who, uh, you know, if you're up with these uh, sinister, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you come from that background. I was born there, Godfrey, okay. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too... Um, you know, go al along I, that route to be I, specific. I'd be, I'd be extremely disappointed if they were doing that because uh, kind of my thesis is that uh, the majors, especially uh, Amplats, Implats and Lonman, have been pouring incredible amounts of capex into their businesses over the last few years yeah. and it hasn't really resulted in any output, in, in any increase in, in uh, production. So uh, if that was the case, <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd be very, very angry with them money. as a shareholder. It's Western because, capital. Yeah, <laughs> okay. absolutely. So let's talk about the stocks. Let's talk about, first of all, Northam. Northam, uh, you pulled out an interesting chart from uh, uh, their annual report that shows uh, while there's been a huge, huge jump in expenses, uh, in fact, I think you pulled it, what, three, Yeah, four, look, there's been a threefold uh, three fold jump increase in, in expenses years, versus in earnings. Please. Yeah, look, I'll be mean, quite simply, Warren's having a look here. There's a threefold increase in operational costs over a 10-year period. And, uh, and at the same time, revenues are up two and a half fold. So it's not as if sales haven't kept pace. It's right. just the escalating costs. And the money has much been coming this, in. Yes, absolutely. So know. what's been eating the money? Co well, I think costs. it's costs, 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 costs. It's labor costs, electricity costs. Yeah. Um, you know, the, and it doesn't look like that's going to get any easier anytime soon. You know, Northern were afflicted with 65 days of lost output, days just lost in their 2011 financial year. Is that the story of the South African platinum sector? Section 54 is, yes. At the moment, it, it, it's been a major factor in the South African platinum industry. Um, you know, I, I don't begrudge the Department of uh, Mineral Resources for stopping mines where, where you're having fatalities, uh, and we're still having fatalities, but you've got to have a balance because sometimes it doesn't make sense to have a, a mine closed yeah. when uh, you've had some minor injuries and, and it could yeah. be related to yeah. one, one part of the operation. So I think in time there's going to be balance between uh, in, in the way that they administrate the, the Section 54s, but for the meantime it has been a big factor. Okay. Um, so I, I look at that as a short-term factor affecting the, the mines, but as we've talked about the uh, costs, uh, you've got to be able to say if you're going to buy platinum today, uh, is the platinum uh, group metal price going to accelerate faster than the costs? And I, I'm not sold on that. It's, uh, for me, that's more speculation at this point. Than so where does that leave you in terms of know them? Is that hot for you? Is that cold for you? Um, it's, it's an interesting story because they've obviously got the other mine that's coming into production only in 2013. So for me... Uh, You're talking about Boissendal specifically? The Boissendal right. mine, yeah. So right. for me as, as a whole, I'm, I'm not, not very hot in the platinum sector at all. But I, I do think there will be good entry points if you're a long-term investor to buy some of these companies. Um, at these levels, I, I just don't think it's the right So time. not hot for you. But even then, I mean, we have to factor in the story that you just gave us. So the story of the 10-year period during which uh, your costs uh, rose more than fourfold. At the same time, your earnings didn't go anywhere. So even if you're a long-term investor, having held no them for as long as 10 years, you'd have nothing. But I think, yeah, I, th I think what Warren's referring to here is maybe some short-term impact here specifically. Okay. And if, I don't think we're going to see any electricity price hikes, or we hope, <laughs> beyond a certain point. So okay. they'll be able to bring their fixed costs. But I think the platinum price should react accordingly. I hope ESCOM is yeah. listening. So hot or not for you, know them? Not. Not hot. Too cold.